uh, why don't you turn in for a bit? Half five, it's hardly worth it. She'll make us a brew, then. Oh, I love Terry. She's crashed out on the sofa. Well, I'm not surprised she's been wearing carpet out half the night. I think you should ring Dr Mattingly when the surgery opens. Fat lot of good that'll do. Whatever he prescribed made her worse. Chris, she needs help. Yeah, but it's not going to do much good if she's having a tipple with the pills, is it? Well, at least she didn't wake Joseph up. She'd be out that door if she had. Well, look, I'll take him to school early before she surfaces. Oh, yes, we wouldn't want to shatter his illusions about his favourite aunt, would we? Maybe she'll pull herself together by the time he gets home. Oh, you think it's that simple, don't you? A matter of Zoe just pulling herself together again. That's what we all have to do, isn't it? She's still asleep. The longer the better. So what time's the doctor come in? I've not phoned. We can't ignore it, Chris. She'll probably be all contrite when she slept off the booze. There's more to it than that. Listen, I had a mate who used to mix antidepressants and drinks. She went right off it. Well, it doesn't need a doctor to see that. Any idiot would know. All right, so ring him and maybe he can change the prescription. All right, all right. Look, I can... No, she's my sister. She's in the lounge. What exactly is the problem? Aren't you supposed to know that? Afternoon, Christopher. The medication you gave her has sent her completely balmy. In what sense? In the sense that she's a total pain. Could you be more precise? Yeah, she hardly slept last night. She, she seemed really agitated. And then earlier on, she was in a real state, um, confused, totally stressed out. I know the feeling. Is she awake now? Yeah, she should be. I think it best if I see her alone. Why? <laughs> Chris. If you could please give us something that works this time. Uh, by the way, we haven't told her that you're coming. Hello, Zoe. Who is it? Is it Doc Bean? He's still with her. Well, let's hope we can sort her out, eh? Yeah. Can't be easy for you and Chris having the back here. Well, I'm not that mithered. Chris is, though. Yeah, I know. Still, we've no choice till she's right, we? Well, no, a bit of rest. Some decent grub in her. Folk to talk to. It's all she needs. You reckon? Why not? Terry, you saw what she was like. Look, I've been a pub landlord. I've seen folk crawling about on all fours, crying their hearts out, and then turning up next day, right as rain. No, I don't know. There's somewhere else. You know... When I worked the streets, I saw her all sorts. What, drifters and that? Well, drifters start off somewhere, Terry. They weren't always alkies and schizos. Some of them were mentally ill. Community care dropouts. Can you hear yourself? What? Discussing my sister. Hey, it's me. You know, the one who was trailing about after her all last night. I suppose you want to raise. <sighs> She's a friend. I think the world is Zoe. I always have. We all do. Yeah. So, what's going on? She seems more settled. And for how long? Sorry, is that the best you can do? What about the mood swing she's been having? I mean, is she a manic depressive or something? Once and for all, can we dispense with the problem page psychiatry? He doesn't know what's up, but she's not mad. Is she? You're right in the sense that I'm not sure what the problem is, or how serious it is. Or whether she's just trying it on, acting irresponsibly. You know, like a second childhood. Why would she want to do that? I know it's a worrying time for you, but whatever the diagnosis, it's important you're supportive. You mean turn a blind eye? I can't really add much more at the moment. <sighs> You've not told us anything that we don't already know. There is the question of patient confidentiality. What? It is her right. And this is our home. Look, it's no good sounding off at him, is it? I can tell you that I intend seeking specialist help. I've told Zoe that I'm referring her to a psychiatrist. Mm, she was not enthusiastic. Oh, no wonder. From knowing virtually nothing about it, you're now saying my sister's a raving lunatic. I'm saying that she needs to be assessed and possibly given help that I'm not qualified to give. I'll be in touch. Thanks, John. 
Thanks for what? Be supportive. I mean, what's that supposed to mean? Look, she's gonna be all right. And what about us? You, me, Joseph. It's like having a stranger under the roof. How do you think she feels? Not brilliant. 